All right, guys, it finally came in. This is Friday morning. Little piece that's holding me up this entire time. There they are. All right. Um, don't need that anymore. I am going to set you guys up, and then I'm going to catch up and uh, get going. Well, I'm back. Zoom out a little bit. All right, so I've got two of these rings, and I'm trying to put them in, but they were one was on both, one was on one side of the clutch housing, and the other side of the clutch housing. Now I started looking through, and I actually found some of the old videos, and all right, let's see if I can't show you this. So I just pulled this out, and this snap ring, I don't know where this came from, just laying down there, there. So that snap ring goes underneath this, so I'm going to take this out and put that snap ring down there. That took forever. So, um, apparently I didn't lose as much stuff as I thought I did. Turn you guys over. So, right where you're at, it won't fit there. But it will fit there. That's where it was at. 
from my understanding because I don't know. It won't go down any farther, so it's not there. All right, Eric. It can't go underneath. So it's right there. This is the problem with with this. All right. I'm. Um, I now need to. Uh, Go back to my video and figure that out. But this ring goes here, and yeah. So, anyways, I think I know this transmission's been in before. Somebody's been in it. I just am trying to discern what should stay in and what should not. Now, this was like that. That's how it was. So, I'm gonna see if it won't go in there and fit. All right, I keep stopping and starting the camera. Apparently I don't need to. It goes down and the holes line up, so. Alright, so right here, the um, pump housing, I went to go pull it out with these snap-on, cool, neat pulley majiggers. Can you see those? Sorry, that was way higher. And I couldn't thread this end in on the one side, even though I, I did everything right. So I redid it. So I have this and this, they're in the threads, that way if I ever have to pull this transmission out again, hopefully I won't, I can actually get the pump out. So that's not holding anything and that's not holding anything, they're spinning free, I don't think they're binding, rotate this around, put a turn. That's pretty tight there. Grab the other one. 
Can you guys see this? Yep. All right, that's pretty tight there. All right, those can still rotate, so I can get the tool in if I ever have to do this again. Hopefully. Hey guys, just finished torquing that, and that went really smooth, um, except for one thing, I, I turned around and this was on the table. Totally forgot the gasket, that's supposed to go on the inside around there, so I get to take this out and uh, practice even more doing this again. I will say this, at least I found it here before it got out to the truck, and then started leaking. Yay. Alright guys, so on this transmission rebuild, I'm putting the Transgo, Tugger Transgo uh, shift onto this, and it has one, two, three different places where you drill holes, and depending on the firmness you want the transmission to shift into gears, depends on the size of the holes. I've tried to pick about the bottom line of the firmness. This is something that you can modify. Um, you just drop the oil pan and drill the holes bigger.
All right, <clears throat> I'm going to start working on a stand. I'm going to go about five and a half inches up. <clears throat> 